so my name is Lynn and I decided to record myself. Um, I will be talking about the Second Amendment and a little bit of its history. And I will also be talking about my point of view. Because I think it's an important topic nowadays and that it needs to be talked about. So the Second Amendment um, basically talks about a militia. So a militia is basically like a small group of people that aren't really, like they're organized, but they aren't like trained um, professionally. They aren't part of the military, you know what I mean? Like they aren't part of the United States military. Okay. So that's basically what a militia is. Um, back then, the North and South were divided. And um, militia came into place because the South needed a way to keep their s slaves sort of kind of there. So they would use a militia. So it would be known as like slave control. So that's what they did. And what they did to compromise was they put in a militia because they wanted um, to compromise between North and South. So North can use their militia however they want to, South can use their militia however they want to. And when it says that you have the right to keep and bear arms, basically keep is like you have a gun. You don't normally, you, you have a gun, you use it every once in a while for maybe like shooting ducks. That's what keeping it is. That's it. Bearing arms means that you have it on you. You can use it, it's on you. So when you have the right to keep and bear arms, you have the right to a lot, <coughs> like, you have the right to defend your life. The amendment doesn't give you anything other than it, it just allows you to defend your life. <laughs> um, you have a life, I have a life. The second amendment allows you to protect or defend your life. George Washington, um, Samuel Adams, um, other people, um, basically outside of the context and what they thought, it was basically like, you have the right to keep and bear arms so long as you're a responsible human being. So what this means basically is that you have the right to to use your gun. You have the right to defend your life. That's what they're trying to say. You have the right to defend your life with a weapon. And that weapon is a gun. And so if it's saying that you are a responsible human being, then that means basically that your mental health is good, you're not gonna go around shooting people, and you should only be using your gun in order to pre prevent crimes from happening. Um, and that's basically what the Second Amendment tries to embody. My perspective on this is identical to that. It's pretty close to that. Um, I personally believe that people who have mental health problems or have a background in uh, crimes, they should not be allowed guns. So, for example, my father is, is a criminal, and he is not allowed to have guns um, because he has had so many strikes. So, in my perspective, again, responsible owners who have a good background, who want to defend their lives, should be allowed guns, allowed to keep and bear arms. People who have had a background in committing crimes or a background in mental health that could be a danger to other people, to their lives, around you should not be allowed to keep and bear arms. So that is my perspective and a little bit of background 
knowledge on the Second Amendment and um, basically what the Second Amendment tries to embody. I, I understand how the Second Amendment also is back in the day where they used muskets and they didn't have a bunch of like machine guns. Um, but you also have to keep in mind that like these machine guns that we have today, they're meant for the military, the United States military. They're not meant for regular people. <laughs> like if you were in the military, you came out of the military, you can use it as so long as your mental health is in good shape. But if you are not like well versed in military weapons, you should not own one. <laughs> like you should not have one. Um, so yeah, um, my opinion summed up, we need um, background checks a lot more and we need people that are more responsible with guns, so.